Hey everybody, Vader's Vault here, showing off our latest custom saber out of the vault. Uh, it's still daylight here at the vault as we're trying to get this saber out to the UPS store before they close because it's got to get emergency uh, airlifted out across the pond. Uh, for the customer, uh, he's got a, a birthday for his son and this is going to be a great present for, for his child. Uh, we had uh, a very full build log, we're trying to get caught back up. Uh, we had a long-term customer we've been working with that had an emergency and needed to push his build back. So we fit some other people in the build log into that spot and we were able to oblige one of our great past clients uh, in this rush job for his son uh, and, and moved him up into that spot along with several others. But uh, this one was a great challenge for me. He had several criteria that he wanted. Uh, he's got several of our Havocs and Furies and loves those because of the very slim and balanced profile. Uh, great for kids, they're, they're, they're very easy on the hands. Uh, and he wanted that kind of profile, but he wanted a full Crystal Focus 6 with full sex build out, uh, Luxion Tri-Rebel uh, RGB, and uh, <clears throat> all that in a tiny package. Um, so I put my best Cram Fu hat on and went out to the shop to design and see about fitting this thing in. Uh, it's just shy of uh, 10 and 3 quarter inches long. Um, most of the hilt outer diameter is 1.25. Uh, we've got several areas of the back, 1.37 and 1.45 at the, at the front end. Uh, it's got a crystal chamber right here in the middle with the uh, vented gills on either side, so you can see into there. Uh, low profile lighted tactile buttons at the top and 1.3 millimeter recharge port at the bottom. Uh, Power is coming from a 17500 AW lithium ion pack, powering all that uh, awesome crystal focus stuff. and. Uh, I think we, we pulled it off quite well. Here it is compared to one of our Havocs. And as you can see, it's only about three quarters of an inch longer than the Havoc, but most of the profile is actually extremely close uh, to, to the Havoc. And so it will feel very good in the hands. Well, let's get it turned on so you guys can see this awesome saber. Sorry, we won't get a full dark shot with the blade tonight. Uh, so we'll just have to do with the uh, sunlight coming in the door here. All right, as you can see, we got the, the two lighted buttons there flashing. Uh, this one over here is your aux switch. Your main switch is over here. And the first one is set to purple. And you can see if the camera will zoom into those gills, you can see in the crystal chamber uh, glowing along with the blade. So the crystal is set to match the blade color. Uh, so when you change the font and change the blade color, it will actually change along with it, just like our star killers. Very loud. Uh, it's got the, the venting coming through these the crystal chamber vents as well as the, the rear at the end. So it's an extremely loud saber for being so small. You can actually feel it in your hand, especially if you put your hand over these gills. Uh, it's better than having a rumble motor. So hopefully he and his child have tons of fun with this saber. Uh, it was an awesome challenge trying to get it done in such a short amount of time, uh, fitting so much into a, such a small package, but uh, I liked it. Thanks again from the vault. Have a good one.